My name is Moose, and I am here in the WBRU recording studio with War Games. How are you guys doing? Great. How are you? I am very well. Thank you for asking. So, should we do some introductions? Sure. Sure. Um, my name is Kyle. I sing in War Games. My name is Matt, and I play guitar. My name is Andy, and I play bass and sing in War Games. All right. All right. So, you guys are here because a full length album is coming out. That's a really big deal. That's right. Yeah. Yep. We've been working on an album for a year and a half now. Um, in in and out of different studios, it's not like your um, your usual you know production. Uh, it's kind of more of a collection of songs instead of just a, a normal full length album. Okay. So we've been in uh, multiple studios, working with multiple producers and engineers, and um, <clears throat> we're really proud of it. You know, it, it definitely sounds like a collection of music that we've done over the last mm -hmm. year and year and a half. Um, but it's still cohesive, you know, it's still one album. Perfect. And remind me the name of the album again. It's called Holding Patterns. Holding Patterns. And yep. what does that have to do with? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I haven't really thought about it much, but, um, I think, I think Holding Patterns is, uh, it kind of describes us as a band over the last few years. Um, you know, it, we've kind of. A holding, you know, holding patterns are, are when a plane's in flight and it can't land and it just circles around until it can land. Okay. And I think um, a lot of us can <clears throat> agree that we, we all feel like our band has been, you know, we've been musicians and, and on the grind for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we've taken a deep breath, but we haven't been able to exhale. Like we haven't been able right. to land. So right. I think that's kind of. So is this CD then a landing? A landing. Yeah, a it's landing. a landing. Oh, yeah. Okay, totally. good. Totally, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. But there's right. not any aviation theme with no, the actual uh, songs. Or maybe. No, no there's not. <laughs> no? No. Okay. No. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite song on the record? Uh, my favorite song is Foundations. Foundations. Which is the single that we um, we put You've out. You've released that, yep, yeah. A few weeks yeah. ago. What, what about you, Matt? Do you have um, a favorite? Yeah, mine's the title track on the album, Holding oh, yeah? Patterns. Yeah? Uh, we recorded it up in north of Boston with... Um, this guy Gary, who has done all the transit albums, and it was it was an experience recording with him. Yeah. So it was awesome. A good experience. It was a great experience. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. My favorite track's probably Adapt and Survive. It's mm -hmm. just um, it's a little heavier of a track, but I dig it. I dig, dig it. it. Yeah. Good, good. And you guys are having a concert at the Met to promote the album, right? Yep. Yes, March sixth at March the 6th. Met. We're playing with um, Sick Vita. Oh yeah. We know um, them. Yeah. yeah Great we dudes. We know them a lot. Yeah. Great dudes. We're playing with uh, Northernmost and the Varsity Club as well. Yeah, it's going to be a fun show. It's going to be a great night. Yeah. Every time we're at the Met, it's just a great time. It's a good yeah, place we to just, play. just played there with um, Balance and Composure, and oh, nice. it was an, an amazing show. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have any pre show rituals or. <laughs> I know some people. There's some. There's some artists who likes to eat clementines before she goes on. Really? No, yeah. I, mean. I would. Like, I love clementines, but I'm totally allergic to Someone's them. Someone's already so. taking that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. whiskey. I would, whiskey. It, well, it, it helps my, my voice, to be honest it? with you. Okay. Yeah, it kind of like right. clears my throat yeah. and takes the edge off so I'm not nervous because I've been singing for a long time mm -hmm. in front of people, but... You still, you still get nervous. Yeah, I, I can do, imagine I in front of all those people. Yeah. <laughs> Not to scare you guys, I but I can imagine. I do a lot of meditation with the green arts and hang out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good, good. That's what I do. Yeah. And you guys are going on a UK tour to promote yes. the album, right? Starting in March. I think our first wow. show is March 10th. Yeah. It's, the, um, the album actually comes out. Wow. A, few days after, um, a few days after the show. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where is your first stop? <clears throat> Our first stop is in a northern city of Grimsby, which okay. is um, every everybody in England kind of trash talks Grimsby. Okay. Because and you know they they say it's kind of grim and whatnot. Oh, but hence the name. Yeah. But um, you know, I don't. I, some of the some of the most some of our fa our favorite shows are at smaller markets or those types of markets where people are like, ah, oh, that place sucks. You know, mm -hmm. it's like. Yeah. Uh, I feel like. Kids in New York or kids in London, rather, um, you know, they get saturated with awesome shows all the time. And, and when you play these one-off kind of markets, like kids really appreciate it, and they they show up to the shows, they buy merch, and they go crazy and they have a great time. Uh, interesting thing about Grimsby is uh, fish and chips, from what I heard, yeah. were invented, invented there. there. Invented there. Invented yeah. there. Okay, so yeah. you guys gotta have some when you go. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Always. Like, That'll be the first thing we I do. I think we the only we only eat like fish and chips and French fries with cheese on them the whole time. Cheesy chips, like, yeah. Cheesy chips and gravy. 
Yeah, okay. that's our that's our UK diet. That's, that's your UK it. diet. Oh, and strongbow. It's like a yeah. Center. You might have to buy two seats on the plane ride home. <laughs> Let's hope not. Maybe all the jumping around. Do Hopefully you guys jump not. Around when you perform. Yeah, we go pretty it, crazy. You go pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like to swing and hang from things if I can. Oh, like yeah. Sia with her. You were singing Chandelier earlier. Oh my god. Yeah. Gosh, how did I you know that? that song? <laughs> was I, I here? Yeah, it? I was yeah. Oh, he's been, he's been singing that from since it came out. Really, his favorite song. Do you guys have favorite artists? Or artists that you does it, did anyone inspire the record or your music Ooh. at all? Um, I think Ooh. as far as like this, I can't say anybody inspired us because like we've been doing it for like so long. Yeah. And we just like find, we found our own groove, right? And we're, totally, we've just been hitting that. But yeah. I mean, there's obviously artists we listen to and like and mm-hmm. stuff like that. You know, I'm a big Manchester Orchestra fan. Mm. I love them. They so. are very very good. Yeah. Um, bands like As Cities Burn. It's really all I listen to. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's it. That and Copeland is okay. the two bands I listen all to. Right. So. I'm going to go local with uh, Wilhelm Scream, which is a punk rock band that doesn't sound anything like us, but I think uh, a lot of our influences come from different genres, and right. it kind of is like a melting pot that, you know, yeah. creates the sound that I'm we, a, we I'm make. also I'm a, a really big Rich Homie Kwan fan. I don't know if anyone listens to Rich Homie Kwan, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I suggest it. Them, I suggest it strongly. Okay, I will listen to them. And how long are you guys on tour in the UK for? Um, two weeks. Fourteen days, I believe. Fourteen days. Fourteen shows, fourteen days. Yep. And not, are you are you gonna have a, a tour bus and travel or? Unfortunately, not. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be more hostels <laughs> yeah. and rough in it. No, um, uh, this isn't our first UK tour. Oh wow! Uh, okay. I mean, it's kind of strange. Uh, more than half the band was in a band prior to this band. Okay. <laughs> so um, we're not, you know, we technically we've been around for a long time. That's why I keep saying a long time. Right. But, you know, because we were in a band before that and uh, we did two UK tours with our, our, our previous band. Mm-hmm. Um, but the way we do it um, is we rent vehicles like this particular tour, we're renting two cars. Okay. Um, you know, one one's bigger with, with equipment that we're renting as well. Mm-hmm. And then one's kind of holding most of the crew. Um, they're not vans, so it's, it's not ideal, but, um, being a, being a local, local band and doing that type of tour, there's a lot of overhead, so we've got to compensate in hey, some places. Hey, you're going places. to the UK, so that's yeah. pretty yeah. amazing. That's why we didn't mind squishing on the couch <laughs> oh, together. Oh, yeah, you guys are you know? all <laughs> Plus, it's really not bad, because, I mean, like, the longest drive in England's, like, four hours. Maybe, oh, yeah, that's know, true. So, so are, mean, you, are you sticking around England? Yeah, uh, most of the dates yeah. are in England. Okay. We're, we, uh, we showed up to Scotland for a gig. Oh, um, very nice. And we have played in Wales and Scotland before, but primarily England, which I believe is like a little bigger than Texas. So the, the drives go. aren't bad no. at all. You know? No, not at all. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. That's amazing. Really excited. And do you guys have any plans before then besides the show at the Met? Or do you anything to prepare for the trip or... Hmm. It's We've pack. just been focusing <laughs> on this album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Up, focusing on the up. show at the Met. That's yeah. like really... The main thing right now, and uh, get we finished the album, so just you know, getting it pressed and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the album was sent out for manufacturing two days ago, so unfortunately, I had to give you guys a, a, a CD <laughs> like and not an actual <laughs> press album. <laughs> That's all right. Did you guys <clears throat> so we haven't seen the cover yet, but is it anything special? Yeah, is it... uh, it's a really cool photo by one of my favorite photographers out in Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. and it's kind of um, it's really cool. It's just it looks like a person suspended in, in, in midair, mm-hmm. but it's cut off, it's from the waist down, and um. It kind of, it kind of, to me, it kind of means holding patterns. You know, it's not, it's not a plane suspended in midair, you know, circling around an airport for hours. Instead, it's a, a person. So, yeah. And and people can interpret it however they like. Like a lot of people are like, is this a metal album? Is that guy hanging? Is there a noose Whoa. somewhere? Like, and that's I'm, a little no. far. But yeah. yeah, yeah. So you guys said you've been around for a long while. How did you all kind of come together to the current band? Who uh, was not in it before? Um, well, me and Andy, we go way back. We're, we're friends since kindergarten. Oh, we yeah. had like matching Power Ranger belts or something. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Which Power Ranger? They still have them. I think it was Jason. Yeah. You had the Green Ranger, right? Either the Green Ranger or Zach, the black one. Okay. <laughs> I've always right. been fond of Zach. Yeah. I think he's a great Power Ranger. He is a good Power Ranger. <laughs> so, so you guys have known each other for a long time. Yeah. 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 Countless okay. years. And then Matt. I came in in 2009. I actually went to college with Kyle, and I was helping him with oh, yeah. some flyers he was doing for one of the shows that the previous band was doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was the previous band. Um, and then they were looking for guitarists, and I just I messaged Kyle, and it was it. Yeah. And 
It's been love ever since. Love yeah. ever since. True love. Well, that's good. Well, you guys are very nice and intimate on the couch, so yeah, we get <laughs> we get intimate from time to time. So. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah. Well, that's good. That's kind of weird. Sounded no, it's no? not okay, weird. Okay, okay. I don't think it's weird. I think when you're in a band and when you travel with someone, yeah. I mean, especially traveling, that's totally brings people together. Absolutely, it really yeah. does. You spend or tears them apart in a van. Yeah, depends, or, so. or tears them apart. But yeah, yeah. with yeah. us, luckily though, like it's always pretty awesome on the road. You know, yeah. we all get along really well. That's yeah. good. But um, me and Andy. We when we 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 first kind of like got influenced uh, at, at the same time. Like we were we were like into like Puff Daddy and stuff in like middle school, mm. and then we Go started listening Daddy. to like Saves the Day and Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, and um, that kind of started us on the rock thing. And we decided that we w- we wanted to be in a band so bad that we formed our band and and um, assigned instruments to each other before did we you? before we knew <laughs> how to play. Even play <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 So did you learn? I yeah. assuming you learned yeah, to play the instrument. Yeah, we just taught ourselves. And... In wow. middle school, we went around with a with a cup and we collected donations so we could did you really? save yeah. up enough money to get instruments and that's how we got our first yeah. instruments. Yeah. What was the hardest instrument to learn? I played guitar for a long time. Mm-hmm. I like to think I was pretty good at it, but I put it down <laughs> and now, now I'm a, just a... Just a singer. Just a singer, yeah. Singer's important. Yeah, yeah and bass kind of just came pretty, pretty simple. Yeah. You know, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> bass is a good instrument. Yeah. The yeah, foundation. So. It's it's really absolutely. absolutely. It's like, and it's like. So important. Groovy. It know? is groovy. You know, I like to be groovy. So you said it took you guys about a year and a half to record the album? Yeah. yeah. Was there any? Was that because of setbacks, or was it just finding the there were the definitely style setbacks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there were definitely uh, setbacks. Multiple member changes. Yeah, mm. during the time. Okay, that's another yes. cool thing about this album too. Is not only is it a collection of songs, but it's a collection of all of our friends that have played on that's it. Like awesome. we've had a couple different drummers yeah. that have really had a huge part in this album. A couple guitar players. The guitar players. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really cool. It's awesome. Different, um, like he said, like producers, engineers. It's like it was like a wild experience, but yeah. it's. It came out pretty awesome. I'm really proud of it. So yeah, that's good. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of lot of colors and a lot of dynamics. It's you know, it's not an album that you put in and kind of say, oh, all the songs are great, but they kind of sound the same. Mm-hmm. It's not yeah. like that. It's, it's cohesive. Its, it's got its aggressive songs. It has its very kind of low lower points, peaks and valleys. Yeah. You know? Any love ballads? Of course, actually, yes, yeah. <laughs> of course. Really, which one's a love ballad? Uh, Submerge, Submerge me. me. Oh, yeah. I actually wrote it about my girlfriend, to whom oh. lives in England. Yeah. How convenient! Yeah, mm-hmm. I I met her on the the first tour we did out there. Oh, that's so in right. Grimsby, ironically in Grimsby. enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's why you're it's really cute. the only love story Grimsby has <laughs> ever made. So. And fish and chips. <laughs> and fish and chips. That's true. Love. That's a love. That's a love story. <laughs> yeah, the yes. love between fish and chips. <laughs> yep. So you're gonna pick her up and carry her along with the tour? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Well, she um. She's providing with. She's got a lot of family around England, so mm-hmm. she's kind of helping out with places to stay and whatnot. True. Anywhere we can save a couple bucks. Yeah. <clears throat> the American dollar isn't doing so hot these days, so you know wherever we can save one. Right. Yeah. We'll Are you guys it. also gonna look for love in Grimsby, or is that? <laughs> I, <laughs> I guess no one looks for love in Grimsby. I, on tour, funny. I tend to fall in love daily. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you know, like I, I see a girl and I'm like, wow, the girl's. It's the most true statement you'll probably hear tonight. Really? Yep. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. fall in love a Do lot. Do you look out into the crowd and see them? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> That's when you have to like smile at them when you're playing. You know? Yeah. But if they don't smile back, then you might as well just forget it. Do you guys have nice. groupies? No. <laughs> no, that was quick. <laughs> we have nap time. I, I've always been confused with the the real yeah, definition of a groupie. Yeah, I don't, you know, oh fans. We have band aids. Band aids. Yeah, okay. they they help mend the band together. Oh, <laughs> I've never like heard that, that before. Real, it was from a movie. Yeah, yeah. Almost famous. You got almost, it. Famous. almost famous. I was hoping that you'd pick up on that, but you did. Sorry, that's okay. I failed you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's good. That's good that you guys have a an already set base in England to go and see you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really excited cool. about going I love out it. there. Yeah. It's a lot of fun, and um, it's a lot of we have a lot of great friends out there. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna have a lot of great times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the album's gonna come out, and it's gonna be Man. yeah, a fantastic. Super time. excited. Yeah, so excited. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you for having us. It was so nice to have you. It's great. And make sure to go online to the WRU Sessions page to see this interview. And these guys will be staying to perform. Which songs are we doing? We're actually going to do Submerge Me. Oh. So don't let Andy wink at you and Mm. and look into your eyes. (laughs) Um, We're going to do an older song called The Only Debt We Bear Is Love. And then the single off the new record, which is Foundations. Foundations. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you. It was a pleasure.
Pleasure and is all mine. If I ever get to England, maybe I'll see you in Grimsby. Yeah. We'll or there. you could come to the Met, you know? I could also, yes, don't forget to go to the Met. That is <laughs> yeah, very yeah, true. It's a little right. closer. March uh, 6th. That's true. Well, who wouldn't want to go There's to no England? There's no fish and chips, though. <laughs> There's that, no fish. That is accurate. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right.